Okay, so the other day I took my boat on another jet water test and uh, after I done some adjustments on uh, the timing so I was kind of hoping to get the motor run a little bit better um, actually get the, the wide open throttle RPM up because so far I can't get this boat uh, over 5000 on the motor I mean the motor not over 5000 RPM so but I also noticed after I did some done some adjustments on the um, timing that uh, now the boat started missing I had I had the feeling the boat wasn't all the motor didn't run on all six cylinders I felt like I had one um, cylinder was missing at first and then it caught so I decided to take the ignition coils out and, and, and tested them. Well, I find uh, on one YouTube channel here from some gentleman who apparently knows a lot about those um, inline six L6 motors and he showed how to test those coils and basically the interesting factor is um, there's two measurements. Um, the first is going basically across the uh, what's called I guess the primary um, coil which should be measuring about uh, something like 0.2 ohms resistance which that was okay but anyway so I'm measuring now the on the coils that I took off the motor let's see if I can do this here measuring the primary um, resistance and it shows 260, 257 ohm it should have between 800 and 1100 ohm so this one shows 257 ohm let me see if I can do this a little bit better so the camera actually shows it a little bit better not that easy to do. Let's see if I go on the other side here. Okay. So I'm putting the positive in the uh, ignition cable outlet and the negative on the negative contact of the coil and it shows 257 ohm. So Strangely, all six coils that I had on the engine, they look actually pretty good, but they're definitely aftermarket coils, show the exact same value. So here I have an older coil from a spare motor I had. This, is, this still has the original mercury stamping on there. Uh, the coil is definitely old, so the contacts are kind of crusty. But anyway, so I do the same measurement on this coil. And it shows 900 and uh, let's see, let me get this tape 913 ohm, 911 ohm, which is exactly within specs. It should show anywhere between 800 and 1100 ohm. So this coil actually tests good. Yet this newer coil, according to specs, let me see if I can. Uh, of course it doesn't always show that good in the camera let's see again two hundred and fifty seven ohm which is indicates uh, the coil should supposed to be bad again the strange factor is six identical coils they all look new came with the motor when I got the motor they all show the same resistance so what I actually done I went to on eBay and I bought a whole set six brand new coils uh, they're hopefully coming in soon and they kind of look like those those ones here. 
Now I'm wondering, since this is actually definitely an aftermarket coil, and strangely all six coils that I took off the motor showed the same 257 ohm resistance. Motor still was running, still had spark, everything. But is there is there a problem with the aftermarket coils? Because there's a huge difference between the original 800 to 1100 ohm, which I actually looked up the specs too, which is correct, exactly like this other person on, on this YouTube channel demonstrated. So it should be, this coil should have between 800 to 1100 ohm resistance, yet it only has 257 plus the other five same thing 257 ohm and the coil really looks looks new huh. so I don't know what happened here and this old coil this old mercury coil got even still the stampings on there looks all crusty has the value within exactly the specs so at this point in time I guess I'm just gonna wait till um, the new coils arrive before I even put them on the motor I'm gonna measure them and um, see what's happening hopefully they have the measurements in specs now my question is um, how does it affect it I mean I could from what I understand I'm not that good with this electronics from what I may what I suspect less resistance means less coil winding in here or winding in there less coil winding um, weaker spark and on those old two-stroke motors if the spark is too weak the engine won't perform it, and it does feel like it's it's kind of having a little bit of ignition problem starts up okay you know idles fine but I put this thing in gear and it wants to fall on its face. Sometimes I have to restart two or three times, rev it up a couple of times. And at the last water test, it was actually started dragging. I had to turn the engine on and off a couple of times and restart it before it actually basically caught on all six cylinders. So if anybody knows what I'm dealing with here, please leave a comment. I'm trying to figure this out. So again, this, those coils here, aftermarket coils, came with my motor. All six of them look the same. They look actually, they look new. Kind of, you know. Nothing, nothing corroded or anything. Yet the specs is wrong. 257 ohm. This old thing, 900 and something ohm. Perfectly within the specs. Okay, let me know. Thank you very much.